At this point in time, is there any way that their marriage can survive now she's found out all the terrible things he's No, done? absolutely not. I don't think so. And the level of betrayal that she's gone through with him is, is you would never get that back. Um, and like, it's that thing of, it's, it's not just the fact they had an affair, I mean, that's horrific. It's not just the fact they had an affair with a man, something that she can't quite get her head around either. It's the fact that he's lied to her so much, she doesn't even know who he is anymore. And it was on her wedding day, you know, all the hard the stuff that happened with Lachlan, when she thinks that he's there for her, and the whole time he's been carrying on. And I think that level of betrayal for her is just, she, 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 they'll never get that back. No. Now, Chrissy gets to set a rather expensive looking sports car on fire in this yes. episode. Tell us a bit about that. I mean, are you down with fire? Are you a bit scared of fire? What was it like? We felt very safe because everything was covered. You know, we were co we had uh, fireproofing clothes, we had protectant on, we had fi lots of fire behind. As soon as the wind changed direction and the fire started heading towards me, people would just kind of pull me out of the way. Um, so we felt so safe. That actually we had a lot of fun because that is kind of fun, isn't it? And how are you with sort of stunts and stuff? Do you kind oh, of I love think, oh, it. No, 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 no. I, no. It's really good. I quite like it. So what did you do? Did you just throw yourself around? Throw yourself on the floor. I really enjoyed it when we did the break in. You know, I was being manhandled by two men and thrown on the floor and all that kind of stuff. And it's really, yeah, it's really fun. You don't get to do that all the time, so when you do get to do it, it's nice. Now, obviously, Chrissy actually sets off this explosive chain of events. We won't give too much about what happens. But I mean, how is she gonna? deal with the fact that she's basically been responsible for this massive tragedy in the village? I don't know actually because I think at the heart of everything Chrissy is a really good person um, unlike Robert uh, and everything that he does is to sort of save himself protect himself, enable him to behave in a certain way, get away with things. Everything she does comes from the heart it's, you know, to protect her family, comes out of love this is a very sort of um, her reacting in the moment with anger and just beyond sort of grief almost for her relationship and, and this man that she thought she loved. So she's behaved sort of quite erratically for her. Um, and then obviously it has consequences um, because it's not something she goes around doing. Robert's very good at doing things and getting away with it. And it's always the, what, the nice ones that do something and then they just really don't get away with it. And so it's actually quite spectacular, the fallout of what happens. And I don't know how she's going to deal with that because she would never have meant for anything to have happened to anybody. Um, not even to Robert, she just wanted to burn his car. She wanted to hit him where it hurts. And, you know. Could Chrissy be facing a prison sentence? It's possible. I mean, you know, because of what happens afterwards, it's, it's highly possible. So I don't, I don't know what they've got in store for her. Brilliant. How do you think viewers are going to react to this week's match of surrounds? Or how do you hope they're going to react? I hope that they can see that she's coming from a good place and that, that everyone just doesn't suddenly turn on Chrissy Sugden because I think that this, she's actually the victim here. There's a lot of victims now, but I think Chrissy Sugden is, is the main victim.